Hello friends, welcome back. In this scenario, we're going to look at how to get data from a data extension, export it out uh, from Marketing Cloud to the FTP, right? So we're primarily going to use the data extract activity and the file transfer activity to get that uh, done in an automation workflow. Okay, uh, we're going to be using the schedule starting source. Uh, we cannot use a file drop with it because it is an outbound flow. Uh, it cannot be triggered off of a file drop. Uh, ideally, um, so we would just go ahead and schedule using a, uh, the schedule starting source. We'll keep it as paused because we're going to use the run once option to test it. Huh? So the first um, um, activity that you would configure is the data extract. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how uh, that looks like. Um, as you've seen before in our data extract activity uh, videos, uh, you can go ahead and specify the different extract types. So in this particular case, we want to like you know, export it as a um, as a compressed and encrypted file finally in the FTP, right? So we're going to use the option called custom DE extract with zip. And there's an earlier video uh, showing how we have configured that. As you can see, we will uh, provide the the external key of the data extension that we want to like and export the data from. Uh, so in our case, it's the order details T, and you can see the same external key that we have here for this data extension, right? So we have mentioned that and configured it, and we have said that you know it has the column headers as well. Okay, so let's cancel out of there. And what this um, uh, data extract activity will output uh, to the safe house is a uh, order details.zip file uh, that contains the CSV uh, data. The second activity that you will see is the file transfer activity. Um, it primarily looks for this order details.zip file and then it will actually target and place it at the uh, export folder on the enhanced FTP. And we're also given the option to encrypt it with the PGP encryption. We've already uh, programmed that in. And we are using the, the option move a file. As you can see from the previous inbound examples you would have seen, uh, we had used manage file. Uh, so this is the second outbound option within the same file transfer activities that we would use for moving files from safe house to the enhanced FTP, okay? So let's cancel out of there. And let's quickly confirm that uh, there is nothing here in the export folder. Uh, there's no files here, so we expect to see a file generated there once this uh, activity completes successfully. Uh, let's go ahead and ensure, yeah, we have 100 records that we want to export as well. So uh, we go ahead, uh, confirm that our activity uh, is there. So we can go ahead and run once. Uh, select all the activities we want to run both of them so go ahead and click the run option uh, confirmation is all good click on the run now option and then yeah it says it's confirmed good to go uh, wait for a few minutes for it to uh, pop up on your screen I will just pause and come back Okay, there you can see it, like it just started. So sometimes it takes a, a, a little while, like probably a minute or two, uh, depending upon the resources available. So don't get alarmed, just uh, wait patiently for it to like kick off. Uh, if you try to do a run once again, it will show an error uh, saying that um, it encountered an error, but what actually it means is like it's all the schedule. So uh, don't go ahead and try to, you know, do it again if you don't see it appearing within a minute or so. Um, so let's go ahead and refresh it. And as you can see, the first part of it only ran, which is the uh, data extract activity. And now it's waiting for the second one, which is like moving the file from the uh, safe house to the FTP folder and encrypting it. Okay. So once that's completed, we can go ahead and check the FTP folder. Uh, just give it a second. Okay, it's completed successfully. As you can see, both are green. Uh, let me. So as you can see here in our FTP folder, now you can see the order details.zip.pgp file has been generated. Uh, so that's the good thing. You can actually then uh, download that to your local folder uh, and you can un uh, uh, decrypt it using the, uh, the PGP key that you have actually uh, used for uh, encrypting it. So in, in one of our previous videos in file transfer, I've actually uh, shown how to like you know encrypt uh, and decrypt your files uh, using the Go Anywhere tool. So you can use that for your testing purposes as well, right? Uh, so that's pretty much on how you actually do the data extract uh, and the file transfer um, you know, activities to move the data out from a data extension and to your FTP. Now, uh, when I tested this uh, on my side, uh, one of the things I found was that uh, the CSV file that gets generated 
uh, from the data exten extension uh, data extract activity uh, and then gets uh, put into the zip file uh, when I was unzipping it uh, the the data is all consolidated uh, into like in a single cell for each of the rows right it's not a pure uh, like it's not delimited into each of the columns like how you would want it on a CSV primarily the reason that I found was because it was like generating as a Unicode file uh, and uh, one of the reasons uh, one of the um, uh, uh, ways to resolve that is to like you know get it uh, into a UTF-8 format okay so um, I've actually had a previous video on the data extract um, uh, module as well where I've shown how to do using that uh, that using a file convert so in the next video we will look at like you know what if we have a scenario where I want to actually have a proper CSV file um, I want to you know get that as uh, extracted the, the data extracted from the data extension uh, have it in the UTF-8 format uh, I need it to be like encrypted and zipped uh, on the FTP folder right how do we do that uh, in this particular case like you know, there's no easy way to do it from using just these two options because it's already a zip file so you cannot convert that uh, once it's already generated as a zip file into a UTF-8 right so you have to like you know generate that as a CSV then uh, change it to uh, a UTF-8 format and then uh, you have to like you know move it to the file the FTP uh, using the file transfer and then zip that as a uh, the final uh, compressed uh, file uh, for our use. Okay. So we'll see how to do that in uh, scenario number six, which is the next video. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, thank you for watching.